going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about the sumo deadlift and we're going to be talking about two main things. Stance width and the angle of your shin or tibia, right? So a good way to figure out your stance width is to open up your hips as far as you can. Externally rotate at the hips as much as you can. Then sink down and your starting position should be where one where your, your tibia, your shin is completely vertical in all directions, okay? So if you notice, I'm about here. Externally rotate as much as I can and I go down. And my tibia is pretty much completely vertical, right? You guys notice that this is completely perpendicular to the floor, right? And then that allows me to have a proper stance width of a sumo deadlift. The reason this is is because uh, it allows you to distribute your force directly up and down. So all your force is vertical. A common error I see is that people stand too wide. And by doing this, they lose vertical force by distributing it laterally, right? So if you're here, you're pushing the bar outward. Right? And you lose, you lose vertical force. And vertical force is the force that you need to bring the bar up. Because if you're thinking about it, all a deadlift is is standing up with the bar. So if you're pushing the bar sideways, right? If you push the bar sideways, it doesn't go up. And that's that's the force that you lose with an overly wide stance. Of course, uh, there are advantages to a wide stance in that you lose range of motion, you shorten your range of motion, and you can get your hips a little closer to the bar. But if you lack the mobility or flexibility to do this, you're going to lose efficiency in your pull, and you're not going to be able to distribute your force as much uh, vertically as you would in a nar narrower stance. So uh, you don't really get as much out of it unless you have the, enough mobility to pull efficiently in that position. So for most people, I'd advise an angle where your shins are completely vertical when you're at the start of the pull. So here. Completely vertical shins. Cool. The other error is standing too close, right? So some people are gonna try pull, pulling sumo. They start off and they stand really close. And in this position, you lose force medially. So as you're distributing force, it goes medially, and you lose uh, some vertical force because of that, right? And not only this, another error with this stance, another issue with this stance, is that you can't get the advantage of sumo, which is to get your hips closer to the bar. So decrease the moment arm on the side. The reason sumo deadlift is good is because it decreases the moment arm between your hip and the bar, right? The center of rotation, which is your hip, and the force being applied, which is the bar, okay? So if you notice, properly stand sumo, look at where my hips are in relation to the bar. Short moment arm, right? And if you're narrow, and this is also uh, the reason uh, generally sumo deadlift is a little easier than conventional. If you're here, and then this is a longer motor arm between the center of rotation, which is my hips, and the bar. Alright guys, and the last thing we're going to talk about is shin angle. So as I told you guys earlier, your shin angle should be vertical. Externally rotate as much as you can and your shin angle should be completely vertical. But this isn't only from the front. You want it vertical from all angles because if it's vertical from the side as well, the side and the back, you know that you're distributing your weight far back enough to use your own weight as a counterweight. Okay? If your shin is vertical from the front view, but on the side view, it's at an angle that's traveling forward like this, and that means you're not bent back. Then that means your weight isn't shifted back enough to get efficient leverage and use your own weight as a counterweight. So you want your shin to be completely vertical on all angles. So from the back like that, you notice my shin before I pull completely vertical, and that allows me to use my own weight as a counterweight to get the weight up. So it gets you, gives you more leverage. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. I'll do a few reps and just do a little circle over. Yeah. Alright guys, so to sum it up, you want your shins to be completely vertical from all angles, right? And that allows you to have the proper stance width so that your force is completely vertical. You're not losing uh, force laterally or medially with a, a stance that's too wide or a stance that's too narrow. Also, it allows you to get your hips as close to the bar as you need it to be. And with the shins being completely vertical, it will also help you keep your weight back. So you can use your own weight as a counterweight for leverage to get the bar up. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. That's it for this one. If you guys enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.